Guten Morgen! So today is one of my favorite types of videos to film because we eat and today we're gonna try every bakery item at a local German bakery. Ich habe große Hunger. Los! All right, we're out and about and about to get the goods and um, we recently did two videos. We tried all the pastry items at a local Aldi and a Lidl and of course those are discounters and today we're going to a one of a kind, a family run one and get it all, try it all and see how good it is and what they have to offer. Yeah. Very German street. We're on the way home and we have a lot to carry. Dude, I think we, there were just too many things. This is a way bigger selection than the other stores that we've been yeah, in. Yeah, there was a lot. So I hope we can get it all home without dropping anything. Yeah. My backpack's full as well. All right, and as you can see, we made it back home, and oh my god, we have so much. And if you don't know us, we are Deanna and Phil. Deanna's from the United States, I'm from Germany, and we recently did these Aldi little videos, now we want to eat the bakery. We have so many things, so let's just start right into it, right? Yeah. What do you want to start with? Let's start with the Berliner. We have the powdered sugar topping, and then we have this powdered sugar glazing one. Yeah, and I think standard in Germany, this one, the powdered sugar one, comes with jam filling, and the other one, I think, should have a plum or prune filling. Mm. I never know the difference. All right, there we see it. There they are. Looks good. Mm. Plum. Cheerio. First thing, German Berliner. I love them. If you have seen any of our other food videos, I just love the standard German Berliner. Strawberry, I think it's, it might be raspberry, this one. I'll let you raspberry. know what it is. Here's the, oh, I won't tell you what flavor that one is yet. I'm not looking forward to this one. I'm not a big prune plum fan. Mm. I don't know. Pimbe. Such a mess already. This is raspberry. I actually like this plum one. I thought it was pretty good. It's very tarty. So, I don't know, for me, this, the raspberry one, that's top notch, that's a nine out of 10. And the plum one, I'm just not a big plum fan, but it's still not bad, so that's like a five out of 10. I think they're both good. B plus for both of them. Oh, wow. <laughs> the American system. American grading system. All right, what's next? We're gonna do this nougat ring. So German bakeries are very seasonal and they tend to have uh, certain items during certain seasons. Last summer I was looking for a chocolate noose ecke and I couldn't find it anywhere and all the bakeries were like, yeah, it's summer. Like we don't, we're not making chocolate stuff right now. Yeah, I love those as a kid. I haven't had those a lot uh, lately, yeah. but that's what they look like. It's a hard, crunchy bottom and then this thick nougat cream on top. It's uh, thicker than Nutella yeah. and not as nutty, I think, but mm. we'll just see. So sweet, mm -hmm. super sweet. Mm. That is deceptive because when you look at it, it doesn't look like it would be that filling, but if you eat the whole thing, I think it's a lot. I think that the nougat ring is like a eight, nine out of 10. I just could not eat a lot of it. It's extremely sweet. It's so sweet, you get nauseated if you eat like two or three of those. Yeah. But then again, it's an eight or nine for me too. Yeah. So this is a some kind of- Pretzel bread. Pretzel bread, but the flaky one, the fatty one. Yeah. Then with ham, pineapple, and cheese. So it's like an Hawaiian pizza thing. Yeah, it looks like it. And I've never seen that before. I'm not a big fan of Hawaiian pizza. And this bakery had, I would say 80% sweet items though, right? Yeah. So we didn't get every single item. The, the title is deceptive, but we got a lot, a lot more than we normally would ever get. Yeah. All right, here we go. The pineapple pizza express. Heat it up. Yeah, heat it up in the microwave and it would be good. But this is good. I I'm, like the bread. Really? I'm not a fan of the pineapple. I'm not like a, the biggest like pineapple hem Me person. Neither. But I still think uh, the, uh, this pretzel flaky thing is so good. This mm -hmm. pretzel flaky triangle. So I would 
pick the pineapple off this probably. Mm -hmm. But I really like the, the pizza style things because mm -hmm. who doesn't like pizza, right? I think for me that's an eight. For me Execute. it's like a six because I don't like the pineapple. Should we do the classic? This is my favorite. Noose. Eka. Noose eka or a nut corner. <laughs> Here it a, is. Yeah. It's a little nut corner. Oh, it's walnuts with chocolate and like a little like cookie. I'll take the corner. It's pretty hot and it just uh, is very n nutty and uh Dude, I love it. It's the best for coffee and noose eka. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. We're not sharing this with anyone. If you're German, you probably know that I feel like every German's grandmother gave their grandkids Nussecken, mm -hmm. the nut corner. Yeah, I know you love it. What would you rate that? Like nine or ten. I'm so biased just because I really like that type of pastry. I love them. It's a ten out of eight. Ten. <laughs> it's not my favorite, but it's very good. Shh, it's More for me. Seven, seven to eight out of ten for me. But while we had that one, maybe we try this one. And it's a horseshoe. A Mandelbogen. It's a almond curve or arc. Yeah, and I think it might be filled with marzipan, I hope, I hope. Oh yeah, I think yes, that's yes, what you yes, said. Yes, 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 yes. I'm not a big marzipan I fan. like marzipan. Just I don't go know. for it. Mm, 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 mm. We ate the both tips with the chocolate. I associate marzipan in my head with Christmas time, and so this is giving me Christmas holiday vibes. Using my Deanna and Phil mug today. Hello, it's me, it's you. Uh, I would give the mandel horseshoe thing like an 8 out of 10. I really like those things. Yeah, for me it's just a 5 out of 10. I'm not a yeah, huge marzipan He doesn't fan. like marzipan, so psh. This thing looks good. I just, it looks, it's, it lies here and it looks like that. And let me just break it. I don't know what's inside. Oh my god, it's crumbling. Oh, that was not a good idea. Look at that. I need to yeah. cut it. Yeah, it's this roll with cream and then... It looks then... like an eclair. There you go. No, it's just whipped cream inside. Mm -hmm. I think the it's too too high of a cream ratio. Mm. I was expecting a little more custard, but it's a very it's Cust very fluffy. Custard beats cream. So we're also doing this because we really enjoyed the Lidl and Aldi discount bakeries and just doing the authentic real one because so many people comment, dude, you can't do that. Go to the authentic real bakery. So we went to the authentic real bake bakery, hopefully. So far, way more of a selection than the Aldi and Lidl. All right, let's do a staple. This thing is also loved by a lot of Germans, I think. Pudding Schnecke. It's a pudding oh, yeah. snail. Pudding schnecke. And that's custard. It's, it's a vanilla pudding. Isn't that like the same thing? A little, they're, yeah, they're Here's a little a pizza different. Slice. Here's that's my pizza. cute. Look at my pizza. Nice. Cute. I think it's the one I really like. What do you think? I think this one's not my favorite. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed too. Okay. <laughs> I think the problem is the bread is a little stale. Yeah. It she feels... said one of them was from yesterday, one of the things. Yeah, not that one though. Oh. That was the Berliner, which we can oh, do the, next. That's an Americana. Americana. Yeah, this was half price because she said it's from yesterday. So it's like a flying saucer and it just has this glazed sugar on top it's just of it. bread. Wow. Yeah, and it's this uh, milky bread type. I just go and I hated them as a kid. And I still do. It's just sweet bread with sugar. But with I, sugar, yeah. With like this powdered sugar glaze on top. This is a good trip snack. <laughs> like you're on a hike or a trip and you want some sugar, here you go. Have some sweet bread. I, I don't want to have that in my pocket uh, on a, <laughs> in, a, in a hundred degree California we're, sun hike. We're hiking. Or through the Everglades. <laughs> I'm an Americaner. The alligator is going to smell it. I think that's probably like a relic out of older times where there weren't as fancy items. In my opinion, it was never as good. That, that has nothing to do with how good this bakery is, but the thing just sucks. Yeah. Yeah, I need something savory. I'm getting uh, nauseated here. So we have this Käse Schnell. What is this? Käse Schnell. Cheese Schnell. Käse Schnecke. Is it a Käse Schnecke? It looks nice. It's Käse Schnecke. Good amount of Käse on it. I like these things. I like this Ooh. type of pastry that usually it comes with. Yeah, because from just touching it and cutting it, it's not dry at all. Yeah. Right? So this, I have my hopes up. Wow, that thing is so good. I have never been disappointed by one of these when I've gotten them at a bakery here. The the round ones, right? It With just the... holds the the cheese or yeah. the meat or the spinach, whatever's inside of it, it just holds it nicely. Look at that thing. It looks freaking boring. I almost didn't order it. I did. This is my biggest surprise now. Really? 
I always get this whenever we go to a bakery. Well, we never got that one. That type of yeah. similar also things. Also at that bakery. We're not giving this one to anyone too. I need to make a plate of non-giveaway <laughs> for me. <laughs> what, what do you think? I like 10, nine, 9 or 10 out of 10. Yes, that's the best item so far. I feel like the cheese tastes like better cheese. It has a very cheesy mm -hmm. taste to it. Like mm -hmm. real good cheese flavor. And um, it holds it nicely. It's so dense and heavy. That's the best item. That's a very good hearty item. An item. That's mm. a nine and a half out of nine point eight for me. Why are you making up these weird things? I'm not editing that no. on there. Wow. Can stop now. It's the best. Should we go fancy? I feel like that's a coffee cool. We do that later. Okay, we we'll go that later. Hold on. <laughs> Let me just put it there so you oh, can see. It looks nice there. That's yeah. visually appealing. Oh, should we get this? What is this called? A snail? What? Is, she called it something. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Dude, I wish I remembered because you were like that thingy, and then the lady aside of you was like, "Yeah, that's what it's called." You don't oh, know. Oh, I don't remember, yeah, and we so can't figure it out from the receipt. It. Yeah, so it's like a cone with caramelized sugar. It looks like a trendelnik a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I'll do the other side. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Make out with it. Why don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like this thing. I like the visuals. Mm. It's not it's my so favorite. It's so fluffy. Yeah. What? Really? Yeah. I don't like the, the whipped cream, the pure whipped cream. I'd rather have custard. I don't like the caramelized sugar on the outside. It's very light, like a croissant light fluffiness. Ooh, nah. I like it. I would give this like an 8 out of 10. Yeah? This is good. Nah, it's just a 4 out of 10 for me. All right, let's do this one. <laughs> Another hearty one. One of the few hearty ones. I think this is a rosemary kind of pretzel stick. I wonder if this is something you could like put stuff on, but uh, I think most people would eat this as is, so yeah. let's just see. Oh, the rosemary gives mm. it a nice rosemary I was about touch. to say that. Mm. It's a nice combination with the pretzel. Nice contrast, right? Yeah. That's why pretzels usually have the salt on the top. Huh. Yeah, I think that works nice. We also have this round version, just a pretzel roll. And these are getting more and more common in Germany. They've been for a while. They make them little sandwiches. Dude, we love them. But I'm triggered by your cutting. I'm triggered! What? Why? Because you're supposed to cut it open like a sandwich. Oh, but we're not putting stuff on it. Actually, we made a lot of those from the frozen section and they're very good. Yeah, I love Freshly the heated ones. up. So let's see how the original bakery one compares. It's still very fluffy inside. Mmm, denser. It's mm -hmm. nice. This one is definitely way denser than this one. And it's, it's softer inside, like soft bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just love them. I think they're amazing. Mm -hmm. It's an 8 out of 10. I think you should cut them open and put stuff on it. B plus. Should we go with something that I rarely see, but they had a lot of them? Muffins? Yeah. You rarely see muffins in Germany or in a German bakery, right? Yeah, I mean, they're definitely there. They're just not one of the, like the staples that are always there. Same with donuts. They're yeah. not always there. Wow, it looks good. The Schmetterling. Oh no. <gasps> Oh, I've cut it perfectly. That's so we got the muffin dough, we got some powdered sugar on top. That's a, a kiss of whipped cream, a little chocolate schmetterling we just cut Destroyed. in half. This might be a chocolate chunk. what I'm going for. Cake, you know how I talk about the cakey yeah. texture that's not there? Eat the schmetterling. I don't know how to explain it, but this is the cake texture from American cakes that I'm used to. Yeah, do you love it? I think it's good. I think it's like a B minus. Yeah. So I think it, it takes a second to come together in your mouth. First I thought after biting it, ooh, this is disappointing. It's a bit dry. But once you chew it a couple of times, it the flavors come together and they come out. And I like muffins in general. I think on the muffin scale, this is somewhere in the middle. It's overall uh, one of the better things. <laughs> so I would give that I like, like a seven out of 10. I'm keeping it. All right, let's try something daring. I think we should go for the donuts because you again have a have a thing about the donuts here. This is just very hard to find good donuts from these cheap supermarket ones that taste the same everywhere. It's either the same <clears throat> manufacturer or distributor or the same recipe for everyone. And I was a little surprised to see that they have a couple of different donuts at this original bakery. I'm not sure if they make it themselves. This looks a little different than these smaller, cheaper ones that we uh, tried before in the other videos. I think it's not the same as from the right from Aldi or Lidl, you know? We also then have this glazed one, like a spiral one. They said, oh, that's not a donut, but... That's a Spritzkuchen. Yeah, Spritzkuchen. But let's be honest, it's, it's just another donut. And um, let's just 
Let's see, I think this one might be filled. <gasps> so there you can see there's a little bit of vanilla filling in there and that one does not have filling, right? Let's go. Donut test. Mm. Okay, let's do the switcheroo. I see what they say. It's not really like a donut. No, this is giving me very big quark vibes. Mm -hmm. Like a quark bellish. Yeah, this is giving me quark with a lot of egg vibes in it. It's very eggy and quarky. I'm positively surprised. Let me know if you feel the same way. When I see these, it just looks like dough and the glazed sugar and- um, It looks like a donut visually. Yeah, it looks like a donut, but I'm not buying these usually because yeah. I don't like the aesthetics. I'm not expecting too much, but it tastes way better than it, than it looked. So what do you think about the donut? I don't know. I'm trying not to trigger people. You don't like it? It tastes like the other donuts filled with vanilla. Hmm. I didn't say anything because I was hoping that you'll be like, oh my God, finally we found a proper donut. Because I think this is a very good donut. The ones we tried from the other ones were mediocre. I think this one could easily be in the assortment of Dunkin's and it wouldn't be crap. I want you to try my favorite donut place in Charleston. Yeah. They make like local fresh homemade donuts. I want to try them too, but I have like other ones to compare to like Dunkin's or Royal Donuts or the cheap donuts. And I think this one is pretty good. I think this is definitely not the same donut as it, the ones from the Christmas. That Carters. one reminds me of Royal Donuts. I think it's better than Royal Donuts. <laughs> and then this one, pretty good too. I would give the, the custard filled one, the vanilla filled one, like a seven out of 10. And that one, as well, seven out of 10. You don't agree, she doesn't agree. Hey, what's up guys? Future Phil here. So I was just editing this video and we got so many bakery items that it's impossible to put this on in a video. It gets way too long, too boring for you guys. So we decided to split it up into two parts. But yeah, let us know what you think about German bakery items. Do you think you should go to a real authentic German one-of-a-kind bakery to get all your good bakery stuff? All the other ones, fine as well. Also, which are your go-tos? Do you agree with our opinions? Just let us know whatever you think in the comments down below. I'm going to release part two of this video at some point during the next week and we have so many awesome good more items to go through but yeah if you want to support us on patreon.com slash Deanna and Phil subscribe comment do all that good stuff follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next video bye bye a special thank you to Sean and Alex our newest family level patrons and a big thank you to all of our patrons listed here for your support which helps us to continue to make videos. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.